So in the packet, this just slides off. I already took out the staples. Basically, you have all your components, battery snap. You might think that these are instructions. They're actually not. Uh, basically, they just tell you what all of the, uh, the components are right there. And, um, yeah. Then you have the PCB printed circuit board, so it tells you where everything goes. And this is the touchpad that you touch. So you can see this side has no contact to this side, but when you touch it, it connects them. And then this is just the front cover and plastic. So, I'm going to start by just opening the battery snap. And then I'll open these. Yes. So here's the relay. So there's your common normally closed or open, and then your uh, coil contacts. I have a video on how relays work, so if you want to go check that out, I'll link that as well. Okay, and then we have, what else do we have? We have two wires for the touchpad. We have this coil thing. I never really know what it's for, um, but you don't really need it. So I should put it with all the other ones because everything seems to work without it. You have, if I can pick them up, you have some diodes, another diode your uh, IC have a transistor I think um, into the next section okay so here you have all your like resistors and stuff have your capacitors this one is, uh, these ones you do need to make sure that you get the polarity right or they'll blow up. As you can see, they have a short and a long leg and then the negative marks with this like, with this like thing here, so. And then these ones don't have a polarity, but yeah. So, usually you wanna start with the smaller components, like your resistors because if you solder the big components on, like your relay, and all your capacitors and stuff, then it's going to be hard to get into, like there, for example, into that little slot. So always start with your smaller components and then get to the bigger components. So this thing actually tells you what the like resistors, capacitors, semiconductors, hardware and stuff. So basically you can use a multimeter to figure these out, figure out the resistance of these if you don't know the color. It also says on these. So I'm just gonna time lapse me uh, putting these in and then yeah. Make sure that you put the diode 
the right way on the board so you can see it has a line there so the grey bit needs to go there so put these in oh and have you noticed I have a new you're not like above you're basically sitting in front of me so I'm working around the camera comment down below if you like that or not that's the wrong one I'm just trying it out just to see how it looks I did it in the last video too how it really works not sure if you noticed that but it's a different camera angle so let me know if, if you liked it or not so I'm just gonna put this weird diode in now Okay, so all the tides are in. Next, I can probably do the transistor thing. So basically, you just need to bend the leg. The leg forward a bit. And then make sure again you put this one in the right way as well. So the next thing is these capacitors and stuff. So, um, basically these ones don't have uh, polarity, so you just put them in whichever way you want. So the big one goes in the big spot, and then the little one here in, in the little spot. These stay in pretty nicely, so you don't really need to bend that leg. Then this one has a polarity, so short leg is your negative, long leg is your positive, or um the like the the like arrow side is your negative. So make sure that you put that in correctly you can see here it's marked on the board plus okay now that's in that holds itself in pretty nicely so then I'm going to solder on these wires now this thing comes with these little like post I only really use them for the relay because that's really all that you're gonna be using them for like it's not like you're gonna continuously be disconnecting that touch switch ok 
Okay, so I have my wire strippers. These ones are automatic, so you push them in and it strips it. So. Actually, I think I'm going to get some longer wire. So that I have some flexibility with it. are going to need to solder the wire on basically straight away because um, you can't really fold it so um yeah so on off there you might be able to fold it actually yeah you can a little bit. Now I strip the other end of the wire and twist a little bit and put it into one off on here. And I believe that you can actually uh, snap this touch, like the touch pad off the actual circuit board. So I will probably do that. Once I have all this on. So we'll put that in there. We'll fold it over. Oh. I don't know which side I should put it on. I think I'll put it on this side. Because you touch this side. Okay, so we'll just fold that over and this is where you have to start soldering so get my solder and I already know that it is um it is heated up so we can just pull some solder on there yeah, and I have a video on how to solder if you want to know I'll link that in there in the card right at the top of the right the top right corner of the screen so i am just going to have to solder the wire on i'm not going to do all the components yet i'll just finish um doing the wires and then i'll do the components Strip the other wire now. Okay, then this goes into here. And then we'll get our solder, heat up the pad. Troubles over here with the friends. 
just the, um, the kind of, like, uh, yeah, I put Zelda, I basically just bridged them by accident, so, that was a bit annoying. amount of time. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but you know. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, share, and uh, if you subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.